And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Trundle Braum for our first deck here on this Wednesday night Rune Terra stream. Uh, we're back at it. We are ready to go play some playing some ranked games with some fun decks. Um, this one was a donation deck that we played right before the Snowpocalypse took, uh, put, put me out of commission for a week. And I, I really liked it. It was really fun to play, and we're going to go ahead and play it again. I realized that I didn't get this uh, the video with it uploaded last time, so I wanted to play it again. And it, it has this new card, Troll Gifts, in here, and it's really like the only deck that I've played so far with Troll Gifts, but I loved Troll Gifts in this deck. So it's two mana burst, grant an ally regeneration. If they already have it, grant them plus two, plus two instead. And the reason why this is perfect is because our both of our champions, Trundle and Braum, both have regeneration. Um, so we want to like our, our decks really built around these two champions and have basically we want to have these two champions and we want to protect them and we, we use troll gifts to just grant them plus two plus two right it's like it's a permanent sharp site basically you know without the elusive thing but um, so you can turn Braum instead of Braum being an 05 now it's a 27 permanently and that's pretty awesome right a 27 Braum really strong um, and of course you know Trundle buffing that thing up too so uh, I, was, I was very happy with it it's, it's a pretty fun deck to play we are going to be Basically, we're going to have our two combat or our two uh, champions, and then a ton of combat tricks because we have troll gifts that plus two plus two. You have troll chant. You have single combat. You have sharp sight. Like four great two cost tricks. It really makes it difficult for your opponents to kill your champions. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to just try to keep these things alive. We got um, avalanche to uh, have some interaction with the opponent. We got some early blockers. Omen hawk, egghead researcher. Omen hawk can buff up our champions egghead researcher gives us a little bit of extra top end with some cool dragons uh let's see what else all right so our removal of course the single combat but then also concerted strike and then scar maiden reaver is in here scar maiden reaver also has regeneration so we control gifts this thing also and it has overwhelm and that overwhelm of course is great with battle fury battle fury is just you know another awesome card um putting battle fury like on braum really cool <laughs> and you know uh leveled up trundle it's got that overwhelm good card to battle fury battle fury just wins games right <laughs> it just it just ends games so it's a good card to have and then of course feel the rush getting 10 10 champions that have regeneration pretty strong so uh, one thing though that's different about the metagame from like 10 days ago is these um twisted fate aphelios decks like they're all kind of playing like three hush these days Hush is becoming a bigger part of the metagame, and that's that's kind of bad for our deck. Our deck does not like seeing Hush, so that may be a little bit of a downside with our deck is that we're a little weak to Hush, but who knows? We're going to, um, you know, give it a try anyway. So let's go play our five games in Ranked. Fiora Shen. This is another deck that's just built on controlling combat and lots of combat tricks, so this will be interesting to try out. We don't have... Um, we don't have barriers, but we got pretty big size. So, I mean, I love these cards, like Troll Chant, Sharp Sight. Those cards are awesome, but we got to find our champions. And we can probably find more spells, so I'm going to mulligan everything. But I, I would, yeah, I mean, I would like Troll Chant and Sharp Sight. I think that we could be okay in this matchup if, you know, if we had a good hand. I, I think that our, our good hands would be just fine. They're not playing like Will of Ionia and stuff like that anymore. But this not too good of a hand. Basically, we just want champion and then two mana spells. <laughs> that's that's what we want. Like Braum plus two mana spells. Uh, and we don't have any of those. So maybe I should have kept the two mana spells. But the champion is the most important thing. Not looking the best. We swing within the flows of magic. Not a good Omen Hawk matchup. Just because Omen Hawk's not good to have against Fiora. Hmm. 
Okay, that's not bad. Much so, like that's you know we we do have feel the rush at our top end, so that's one deny. Um, gone from the deck that could get feel the rushed. Tremble before the winter's claw. You know, like deny on like concerted strike. Like I'd much rather get you know avalanche get denied than these other cards. Stay out of my way. Free attack here. So I can sit over here and whine about us not having any champions, but my opponent doesn't have champions either. You're in over your head. Bold, aren't you? So that should be repost, and then oh no repost, okay. A gift from the river folk. <sighs> I was gonna say that's likely repost. And then we would have Concerted Strike to respond to it. So that's got to be single combat and concerted strike they're thinking about. Oh. Well, that's basically single combat. Yeah, I mean, that's just single combat. We're not doing too bad. We both have five cards in hand. Champion! Do, 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 do. So if I play Researcher, so 10 mana, so that's uh, one short from Researcher plus Avalanche plus Concerted Strike. I'm something of an aspiring ecologist. I'll follow where I can. So we both currently have 8 mana. All right, they took it. So basically, like, if I go Avalanche and then they they fight, then I don't get to respond. Don't have enough mana. I kind of, you know, I want to be able to respond to some kind of spell they have. Okay, so now we can respond to the first thing with Concerted Strike. I was one mana short from having both of them last turn. Yeah, that's what I thought they would have. But honestly, I'm going to just let this happen. I'm going to save Concerted Strike. Before, I probably would have wanted to do that, but now that I have, like, my champions now, now I have, like, these things that I would kind of rather protect and rather have Concerted Strike for. Um, so I'm... And uh, Bright, Steel for, Bright Steel Protector. Something I'm super scared of. Can they even stop this? I don't think they can, can they? Yeah, I, don't, I was gonna say, like, I don't think they can stop that. Yeah, so I think that their hand was just spells and bright steel formation. That's my guess. Timo Ezreal. So, big puff cap deck. Um, I like Avalanche. Reaver is a little slow. You know, five mana card. Let's let's look for our champions. Okay, we'll take that. Because I need to find... Oh, perfect. Sharp Sight's good. I, need to, I was going to say, I need to find something for Ezreal, right? Like, that's... I mean, I guess Timo too. Team, like, they're both elusive. But I did have the avalanche that would hit Teemo. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. I'll have what he's having. I don't like seeing that. Guy. 
I guess I play Braum first before Avalanche. Got a mushroom with your name on it. Mushroom is best with strong cheese. Nice getting those troll gifts that can give this Braum plus two plus two. That's a, that was a really good draw. I'm honestly not sure which one I want to take out. Peddler is really annoying. Peddler is really annoying, but I probably have to kill the Teemo. At least try. Hope they run out of protection at some point. Oh, I love that. But I guess that means troll chant, doesn't it? But that's still fine. Yeah, I guess Troll, troll Chant wouldn't save Peddler. Okay, good. I love that. Yeah, I mean, I love this. No, block. That's too bad. All right, so by leveling up their Teemo first, all they did was, um, you know, have my Braum survive two more damage. The trolls are going to war. So I can play Icequake next turn. I wouldn't kill this this peddler. I'm really glad I have two Conley Tavern Keepers. Okay, so this will give me four mana. I do need to start unloading my hand, right? Like, we're just drawing too many cards. So we need to unload our hand. That's easier said than done. Basically, no reason to play egg Egghead Researcher because it'll just, you know, like it'll just spend two mana to not even get rid of it out of my hand because we'll just put the dragon back in our hand that we don't need. All right, good. One peddler down. And I'm probably just gonna be playing the take art. This would level up Braum. Man, triple pet, triple puff cap peddler, double hex core foundry is just is just the dream. But we're trying over here. Okay. So let's play... I don't really need to take heart right now. I mean, I could take heart like the Trundle. That'd be my better card to take heart. So it's either take heart the, the Trundle or... Because, you know, the Trundle's going to have Overwhelm. It's either do that or play this Tavern Keeper. Um, yeah, maybe I take heart the Trundle. Because the, the other good thing about t Braum's take heart is we're putting a Braum back into our deck. So that's another card in our deck that doesn't have a Puff Cap. So that's also good. So it's, it's kind of good to play these champion spells and try to reload our deck. Burn Omen Hawk, the easiest card to cast. <laughs> the easiest card to get out of our hand. Nothing escapes my watch. 
Well, I guess technically this Ice Pillar is the easiest card to get out of our hand. Okay, if I go Ice Quake, Braum survived, because the the problem with Ice Quake last turn is it would have made my Braum have zero power, right? So, like, if you're, you're saying I should have gone, like, so I, I could have, like, challenged first and then Ice Quake, but then that kills my Braum. Yeah, I don't, I think, I kind of think I just need to play both Tavern Keepers. Good times, good friends. What could be better? What could be better? Uh, they're not even challenging the ice pillar. That doesn't make sense. What will you have? A bag of your warmest milk, my friend. Thanks. So many puff caps. So what, that's only attacking for 13. So this is kind of killing them. Frostbite cards are... You know, that's that's the problem, right? Yeah, frostbite cards are the problem. I've always been a fun guy. Yeah, this is basically as good as their deck can do. Yeah, with like tri triple Puff Cat Peddler, triple Hex Core Foundry. It's pretty crazy. Peddler is the best card in their deck. This is like, you know, you would think that, a, you know, your champ, usually almost always your champions are your best card. In your deck, but this kind of deck, Puff Cat Peddler, is definitely the best card. And so having three of those was pretty rough for me. So it looks like they win this. Um, I think this game's just over. Think Think doesn't doesn't matter. This game's over. We we can't I can't survive two turns at nine life. Like that's that's the thing. I can't I can't survive this. No, Foundry is not their best card. Peddler is. Foundry doesn't do anything without Peddler. But um Yeah, like Peddler is the best card. GG's. Too many peddlers. Of course we are still friends. All right, to, over to Fiora again. This one, Fiora with Aphelios. Hopefully not too much hush. I don't... Yeah, maybe I should even be keeping Omen Hawk. I guess, because Omen Hawk just makes Fiora better. <laughs> well, hopefully... <laughs> I guess we're going to be keeping Omen Hawks, though. Hopefully, we're going to have a hopefully we're going to have a buffed up Brom here that we can like triple Omen Hawk a Brom. So not this draw. No, not this draw. I needed Brom the next draw. I needed it to be the next card, not this one. Get him, Hawks. Look like we got a pretty good deck here. Triple Omen Hawk Avalanche combo deck. I long for a worthy opponent. Yuck. Well, I guess I'm passing. Definitely want. I think I'm going to want to have access to both of these cards next turn. Ouch. If that Braum was just one card further down, 
would have had, you know, like would have had a 3 8 Braum, which would have been awesome. 7 8 Trundle's not bad. Do I want to play 7 8 Trundle and attack with that? Yeah. King of Trolls, we get an aggro. Just being patient on the sharp side. No real reason to be hasty with it. Temple card's pretty good. Alright, so we're going to have to... Ooh, that's not bad. That's not a bad draw. So, so this can... Because the single combat can pop the spell shield. And then I can Concerned Strike. Okay, so we need to have this thing strike first, this thing strike second, but then also have these fight, and then that should be exactly what I want. Yes, it is. So that's going to... So basically, the, the single combat gets rid of the spell shield, the 3-3 three, three striking gets rid of the barrier, and then my 7 power trundle strikes after that. And they can't put another barrier on. They can't put another spell shield on. We already got rid of both of those. You know, tough. Yes, it's three health and tough, but I'm doing seven right now. Um, if they have hush, I do four still. Okay, so now if they have hush, they, they get it. So they had to have three spells, but please don't have hush also. <laughs> Should still work out just fine. Yep. Come on. No, they just drew hush off of that guiding touch. Oh, then they conceded? Why'd they concede? Their Fiora stayed alive. Did their hand have nothing else to... Wait, why did they concede? Oh, Fiora would still die. Okay, yes. Okay. So, yeah. So, basically... So, Fiora survives the Concerted Strike, right? It takes, four, it takes three damage from the Concerted Strike after the tough. But then combat still happens, right? Because they're in combat. And so then the Fiora dies and the Trundle both die. Like, they, they kill each other in combat, right? So they, they end up, their Fiora's gone and my Trundle's gone. That's how that would end up. And so we'd still have our little Hawks and our 3-3 and our Braum. And they conceded. All right, more Aphelios. This time with Diana. Send them all back. Could keep, like, the two-mana 1-3, right? Like, that's not a bad card to have in your opener. But we just, again, like, I've, I'm kind of a broken record. But we want to mulligan and look for champions. So I like this opening hand. We got our Omen Hawk Avalanche combo. Double Omen Hawk Avalanche. Now we're getting somewhere. We were peaceful once. I really don't believe this Lunari Duskbringer. Do you think they were ever peaceful? I just say it all the time that I'm starting to not believe them. All right, now let's draw Braum. Braum. Yuck. That was probably our worst draw in our deck. Do I think Augur would be good in this deck? Like, Augur of the old ones? Six mana card? No. I would not want that card. It requires you to behold an eight mana card, which is very difficult for our deck to do. It's it's not impossible or anything, but it's not what our deck is trying to do. Path opens before us. 
Just drew another avalanche. <laughs> well, our last two draws were as bad as they could be. And they have the best champion in the game. So this looks pretty rough. I could see just playing two Omen Hawks in this deck and playing the third Scar Maiden Reaver. I was definitely considering doing that. Um, getting getting another Scar Maiden Reaver, getting another uh, good regeneration, overwhelm threat. That's something I was considering more. <laughs> I don't really want to trade Sharp Sight for Pale Cascade, I don't think. Alright, so Calibrum went to go get Stun Card. Um, if I do single combat right now, I won't be able to Ice Quake next turn. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah, I said you're you're fed up of waiting for people to choose from. Yeah, just build the perfect deck against you every single turn. I can understand that. I mean, I yeah, that's that is frustrating. So that's that's understandable. Because even if even if like they, it doesn't work and they keep some things alive, at least we give the minus three minus zero, so we don't take very much damage. But the Aphelios now has had three moon weapons, so that means the Aphelios is about to level up. So that means we are about to die. And I I was a troll. Their stalking shadows did miss, um, but I don't I don't feel sorry for them because they still make a moon weapon. Surprised they didn't have anything, any, you know, I guess it would mostly be like Pale Cascade. Surprised they didn't have that. So what's their moon? Yeah, they're getting a two drop. So now Felios is leveled up. They find one of those. Um, they could have, if they were just playing the long game on Pale Cascade. They could have Diana plus Pale Cascade to kill Trundle. Maybe it's just two Dianas in hand. And, you know, like the Diana champion spell. I don't think this is a very good combination of... They whiffed again on Stalking Shadows. Stalking Shadows with Aphelios is not looking like a great combination of, hey, let's take, out, take our followers out of our deck and then play a card that needs to draw followers. And then also playing Fading Memories. Like, what are we doing playing fade, Fading Memories in this deck? Fading Memories is not a follower. And not really that good of a spell. I'll knock them dead. The moon is our queen. The night, her kingdom. There's the Diana. All right, first avalanche. 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 That's what I said, Trundle. That's what I said. Could go with another avalanche. Um... Let's play that thing. Brom. Okay. Is it the Who knows? 
Who knows? There's that pill cascade. So they did have two. They did have two Dianas. It looks like two turns ago. Whenever uh, after I cast my Ice Quake, I think they had two Dianas in hand. So they could have gone Diana, Diana, kill my Trundle, but did not. I feel like that's what they were supposed to do. Obviously, right, so we're gonna just single combat away our Egghead Researcher. It did its job. It researched and found a Cadragrin. Thank you, Researcher. I'll see you later. Three and one. See, like, our deck doesn't look fancy. But there we go, beating two Aphelios decks in a row. Like, we... I don't know. Our, our deck just has, like, really good spells. <laughs> like, single combat, sharp sight, troll chant, and now troll gifts. We just have really good spells and some good champions with regeneration. Regeneration turns out to be a pretty good ability. Anivia... I don't like playing against Anivia. Because Anivia has hard removal, right? Not just damage based removal, where, you know, like our, our whole point of our deck is to make large things that are hard to kill, but they have vengeance and ruination. And so that's bad for me. That's quite bad for me. I'll be surprised if we win this game. This seems like a really bad matchup. But we gotta play it out. I think my best card is Feel the Rush, but of course they have Ruination. The more we learn, the less we fear. <laughs> what are you doing? I, I love no Avaros and Sentry. That's good for me. In Velos Fox is pretty cool. Uh, I should have just passed when they did. I didn't. I could have just saved my spell mana too and everything. I didn't need to play that. That was a bad play by me. I'm going to say I was distracted by the dog, so I have an excuse. <laughs> just make up an excuse. That's not even a good thing for Braum to challenge. Yeah, that was, that was a bad play by me. Take heart. Follow the tracks. Have you met my shield? <laughs> so Nivia could attack and deal one damage to the Brom. Yuck. Well, that's game over. Rest in ice. We each died, then found hope. Yep, that's probably game over. I'll follow where I can. Hmm. That's pretty good for me. I'll take that. Harsh Winds is like a, just a, I forgot about that. That's just even another counter to Battle Fury and just a counter to my deck. Uh, so, you know, getting Nivea's Harsh Winds out of their hand, that's, that's good for me. I still don't think this necessarily ends good for me, but... You know, sometimes you just have like some some strategies that just counter others, and their strategy just really seems to counter mine. I want to face more 
Aphelios decks. <laughs> Don't think I'd say that. Didn't think I'd say that, I mean. Um, I mean, I, I guess I could just continue to throw out cards. Hmm. Because if, if I play Vox, they play Ruination, the game ends. On the spot. So, I guess I just pass. Another Nivea's Harsh Winds. So playing a Battle Fury doesn't make the most sense. Because they're... It'll just turn the Anivia to be one... You know, to just be the zero one and then it'll just come back. Except for maybe on like the Scar... Main Reaver. Just nothing else makes any sense to do either, so... Just play it on this overwhelm thing. Um, yeah. That's fine. Nothing escapes my watch. Okay. We will not escape your watch. Them playing like little 1-1s one and 2-1s is good in the respect of that's less room for Anivias to be, right? Like if I never kill like these things, that's good for Anivias. But of course, attacking means they get to block. And I can't really stop that from happening. So Brom has 9. It's 9 health. It's only at 2 for leveling up. Put Braum down to 3 health. That's fine. I am killing a Nivea, which, you know, that's, that's of course not good for harrowing, but right now the board's kind of filled. But this, I would assume they're going to Ruination here. But also, if they were, I don't really know. I don't know why. Like, why? Why not attack with the Spiderling if your plan is going to be Ruination anyway? They already had a dead Anivia because they already played a Rekindler and got Anivia back. So, like, me killing this Anivia doesn't like make their other Rekindler better. If I play Avalanche. Then they play Ruination, then I can play one Vox. Um, but if I if I don't play Avalanche, and I pass, and they Ruination, then I can play Vox and Tavern Keeper and threaten Lethal. I think I'm going to do that. Hey QQ! Almost one year! So you'd think they would have another Harsh Winds or a Vengeance. Can't do anything about that. They're just taking it? That sounds good to me. I guess we'll just take it. Wow. So what was in their hand? Did they, Were they too patient on Ruination? Like, did they have Ruination and they were too scared of me playing other stuff after Ruination because they just didn't have fast spells? And so they tried passing to me, hoping that I wouldn't go to attack, and then I, I did just go to attack and, and got them. So, you know, obviously they, they used both their Harsh Winds too early, um, but they already used their Harsh Winds, and they used... Yes, yeah, so they used two Harsh Winds, so I guess they didn't have another Vengeance or Harsh Winds or... Anything like that. They had to have had Ruination, especially how they're playing. 
but I think so. We did good. We did a good job playing around Ruination. Nation. All right, so there we go. That was Trundle Brom. I have to say that I was very impressed with winning that last game. I think my opponent just had to have had Ruination and uh, was just you know passing to me, hoping that I was play something else and my open my uh, not play anything and go to go to attacks tactic worked out well. But it, this. This deck just kind of shows the power of, of regeneration, right? Regeneration looked great in all of those games. Scar Maiden Reaver, Trundle, and Braum were all awesome. It does feel like maybe we should be playing a third Scar Maiden Reaver for how good that card was. Um, it does seem like we should maybe have another one of those. Uh, let's see. But Troll Gifts was awesome, right? Like, think about Troll Gifts like that that last game. They, they, they used their Harsh Winds. Like, I Troll Gifts at Braum. They use Harsh Winds to save their 0-1 Anivia, and then I Troll Gifts it again. And now our Brahms a 4-9 for the rest of the game. And, uh, you know, it's basically countered that Harsh Winds for just two mana. Um, yeah, we didn't we didn't do any, too much with Feel the Rush, but I, I love Feel the Rush in this deck, and it can can really give you the power to take over against some Twisted Fate Aphelios decks and stuff like that. So I really like Feel the Rush. Um, but, yeah, so this is just... So it's a very similar deck to, like, Fiora Shen, where you, you have, like, your two champions that are great, and you just control the board... And you just have a bunch of regeneration units and um, and combat tricks. And you just kind of control combat. You make it really tough for them to attack through you and make your attacks pretty good too. And you'll get to ch challenge and everything. This is just a pretty fun deck to play. That's the one thing that I'd want to try to find room for one more Scar Maiden Reaver. And I'm not exactly sure how or where. I would be kind of guessing. Maybe you just don't play Entreat and that's your Scar Maiden Reaver. But like your champions are super important. Um, but Scar Maiden Reaver is basically a champion, so maybe you don't need the Entreat if you have the Reaver. I'm not sure. Either that or, or you just play, like, two Egghead Researcher or two Omen Hawk. You, you know, maybe you just play two of one of these things and uh, then play a third Reaver there. All right, but there we go. That's it here for Trundle Braum. Pretty awesome deck. Uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Hopefully y'all liked this one. Leave those comments. Let me know what you think. If you try it out yourself, how does it go for you? Um, you know, maybe this is something fun to play that's not uh, that's not a Targon deck. And so if you enjoy playing, you know, Fiora Shen type decks, give this one a try. I think you'll enjoy it. All right, but that's all I got here for Trundle Brahm. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.